Everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're due for our, our Isaac run, which I'm excited about. Last run, uh, a little bit slow on the early momentum, although as Eden we started with one of the better Eden starts we've ever had. Red Candle, a lot of HP, and uh, the Wafer, which really came in handy towards the end of the game, until we completely rerolled our entire run. Spoilers, I guess. That was a little ballsy, but I was a big fan of it in the end. Uh, and, uh... You know, shitty deals with the devil right off the bat, but we still became guppy anyway. Thank you, Cursed Rooms and uh, Mob Trap Rooms for making that happen. Really, it was the piece de resistance if you add on uh, the delicious proptosis that we picked up on that run, as long as or as well as all the other amazing damage upgrades that happened to befall us there. I hate this room. I, if I have a bomb available, I will always use a bomb to speed up this room. Although it doesn't really uh, help out all that much when you've got, like, a bunch of flies that are kind of flying around, as they are wont to do. Maybe that's why they gave them that name, but uh, still, easy enough. And you always expect the over-under for first floor Tinted Rocks is like 1.1. You're always going to have a pretty good idea that there's going to be one Tinted Rock in that first floor. So we're going to save at least one bomb, but with the amount of uh, consumables we have, we might be wise to start looking for a secret room as well, and maybe if we end up fighting uh, Duke of Flies or even the Haunt, we can use a bomb offensively there and completely uh, make it so we're not able to use any bombs in the future. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. What do you think? Secret room right there? Or secret room to our left? Right there. That makes my life easier, and that is... in. Oh, there's one more there. That's enough money to make me really want to take an interest in this shop, I think. I've been very unkind to my donation machine lately, and I may continue to be unkind to my donation machine, because this is a really nice, like, two-for-one deal here. If we could pick up four cents? No, we needed three. No, we needed four, and we got four, so that's that plus that. We get more keys back, plus uh, the chests that we open are going to be amazing for our future. So that's a really good start here. Mom's Key, one of my favorite kind of utility items, along with something like Humbling Bundle, for example. Now, if our boss item truly sucks, or our item room item truly sucks, we can use an extra bomb, or two, I guess, if we get the opportunity to, to uh, foster some more rerolls here. Which is another awesome opportunity that you rarely get the uh, ability to actually take advantage of, so I'm glad that we do here. A bomb drop would be nice. That's alright. Technology 1 is worth taking right off the bat. It messes with our... I don't want to say it messes with our rate of fire. I'm not going to use a bomb on this guy, because now we have piercing shots, basically. So, um, it, it messes with our, our standard ability to deal damage, and, like, really lowers the hitbox on our shots. But at the, same time, at the same time, it gives us piercing shots, infinite range, and synergizes so well with a host of other items. I love technology as the base of a run, which is pretty much what we're looking for here. And we may or may not need to use a bomb to get those batteries, because our item is the pentagram. So I think we're pretty much just out of here. No arcade on the next floor, but a really good chance of getting a deal with the devil, and a really nice baseline for our run here. Obviously, we have to be a little careful about enemies like this. I really didn't want to have to get on the other side of this pot. It was nice to have it as protection, but what's done is done. And we're definitely ahead of the eight ball, you know, like, I don't, I don't, actually, you know what, I played a lot of billiards in my day, a lot of pool in my day. I think the analogy still makes sense. We're in a good position to hit the eight ball and thus, you know, finish the game. But we're not going to finish the game just yet, probably. That would be, like, a pretty amazing world record time. Um, you know what? We could wait for this guy to blow it up. I don't think I value bombs as much as a lot of people. We'll blow it up ourselves. Hopefully get, uh, well, I was going to say small rock, but this is okay. And we're lucky enough to be fighting Pin, and Pin is really bad when you have a really awful against players that have piercing shots. And we're lucky enough to have a D6, like, completely ready to go here, so... I would say that this is an amazing situation to be in. Mostly just looking for raw damage upgrades and utility items, man. Like, I don't want the run transforming items. I love technology, and I would probably say no to, like, a brimstone or a mom's knife right now because I already like what we've got going on. Uh, I will say yes to the razor blade because we have the HP necessary to absorb it, and then we'll reroll it. And, you know, it didn't turn into a good item, but... One red heart for deal with the devil precedent almost is like paying cover to get into a club or something like that. I'm okay with it, man. We got the HP and definitely the spirit hearts necessary to absorb that cost without putting ourselves in undue risk. And the reward that we'll get for that is probably disproportionately amazing. 
So let, let's hope that that does indeed work out the way that I hope. And uh, if we get another charge here, we may wait to go to the curse room until we have it. Because you never want to, you know, go to the curse room and then be like, oh, it's an item, but we want to reroll it. Like, if you get a guppy's head, we can get two guppy items instead and really put ourselves on the fast track there. Not that it, that's the only way to success for us. We could also have a run. I know it's a novel strategy. We could have a run where we don't become guppy. That could totally happen. But I wouldn't get, uh, I wouldn't, if I were a betting man, I might not take that offer. We got a chest for a bomb there. And, of course, with Mom's Key, this is, like, a no-brainer. Anytime we find a chest, even a golden chest, assuming we have at least one key, we're gonna open it. Or at least we're gonna try. Already gotten enough to buy enough, or buy something from another shop here. And Stompy is... Stompy's fine. My favorite, probably, of the Stompy items, unless you have super high speed. And now we can, you know, crush all these pots. Have a really good chance to pick up a quarter. Or a counterfeit penny, or, sorry, swallowed penny shows up for these, but... Um, none of those really appeal to me all that much. And we'll take the battery. Battery D6 is like a classic combo, man. There's nothing wrong with that. If this was a, a fast food restaurant, that would be like the number one. Well, number one would be the D6, and then number two would be like, you know, D6 plus cheese, basically. D6 plus battery here. Um, I don't, like, the quarter is not going to define whether or not this is a one run, but we might as well at least try to get as much money as possible here. Let's go into our curse room. Eh, I got a pretty good chance of getting one of the quarter or the uh, swallowed penny there, I would have to think. Nothing there. Nothing there? That's a real disappointment. Uh, and people are going to be on my butt, and you know what? You deserve to be on my butt for this. Uh, about, oh, there's swallowed penny. Uh, they're going to be on my butt about not breaking every single rock to try to find a crawl space. I, crawl space meta is old hat for me, man. Which is not to say that, you know, if you do, if you love crawl spaces, you know, you're fucking wrong. I just rarely, pardon me, find them super useful, so. I mean, it's, it's luck based, but I'm gonna choose to forgo being super diligent about it. And I hope that's okay. For now, uh, an interesting run, lots of kind of cool consequences of what we got going on here. Swallowed Penny is not very good, like, I'm not thrilled to have it, but it gives us more than, uh, more than nothing, more than our existing trinket did, which was nothing, because we had no existing trinket. So what are our be-all, end-all items here? What really takes us to the next level? Anything homing, for sure. Ooh. Uh, and then anything that just gives us more damage. That's pretty much all you want with technology, is, like, homing more damage. If we get, you know, Mulligan, or Guppy, or... Infestation 2 or something like that, that's great as well. Um, but really, like, we're, we're spoiled for choice right now. Homing is the greatest. Not only, and it, it's, like, one of the reasons it's great is because it, it hits multiple enemies uh, at the same time. The other reason it's great is because when you're slightly off on your shots, it'll curve to actually hit. So, one of the reasons technology is kind of an inefficient way of dealing damage is because even if you got the enemy in your sights, they might deviate slightly, you know, up or down or left or right, and as a result, you're at, your shot's actually going to end up missing, which is super annoying. So having homing to kind of guarantee that the shots always land is good. Also, uh, Sad Onion, number one, you know, anything that gives us a, a rate of fire up, our shot speed and range are going to be infinite regardless, so it doesn't really matter. Anything that gives us a tears up is worth it. That is a that is a dirty room surrounded by spikes that I have no interest in. And I know that uh, dirty rooms always give you just tickets down to the next level. So I, I don't know why I wasted a bomb there to check. I guess just to illustrate the point. Boss rush is a is a possibility here. Not a guarantee, but a possibility. And again, anything that gives us the medium... Oh, so... Oh, I just needed that 14 cent, obviously. Anything that gives us the ability to hit uh, multiple enemies at the same time is super powerful on Boss Rush, if we can get the damage to go along with, along with it, which is, so far, a pretty good start here with uh, Pentagram. Also upping our deal with the Devil Chance. Not, not crazy amounts, but enough to, you know, be satisfied with it. Obviously, we, we have to find the energy crystals immediately, uh, Mega Man. If we find the energy crystals, we'll find Dr. Wowie. I can't believe we didn't get hit there. 
And again, you know, not not really blowing the doors off uh, too much yet, but we found a pretty good location to stand there by crushing those rocks, so I appreciate that. And Jesus Juice is going to help us out to some extent with our damage. I'm not surprised we didn't get a deal with the devil, but it would have been it would have been lovely to get one. And that's going to be the end of our floor here. Golden chest, if I haven't stressed it enough, always open with mom's key. Butt bombs are not amazing and probably a good target for rerolling. I should have thought of that. Bogo bombs and uh, little baggy, not that good. There's options, amazing. Absolutely amazing, very happy to have it. And you know what, with eight bombs, I think we got a pretty good shot of picking up an eternal heart or something like it right here. Lots of pills. That's uh, not, that's neutral, basically. Bad trip. Hematemesis, health down, pheromones. Well then, not the greatest uh, assortment of pills there. People are going to be up my butt again for saying paralysis is neutral. It's not always neutral, but it's neutral if you use it on a room uh, like that. It costs you a little bit of time. No big deal. There's no enemies to get in our face, so I'm okay with it. Again, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of doing these rooms for a single regular chest, but when we have mom's key, that it makes the decision a little bit easier. Jesus Juice not necessarily giving us that enormous damage coup that I was hoping for, but at the same time, we're aware that we're going to be, uh, you know, having our choice of boss items in the future, especially with a battery-powered D6, so uh, I'm not stressing out too much about our existing state of affairs, like, our HP is low, oh no, yeah, it sucks, but, um, you know, we're going to be able to build on that probably pretty easily uh, with theirs options. If we want HP, there's probably going to be an HP offer available to us. If we want damage, there's probably going to be a damage offer. If there's nothing we want, we can reroll. If there's nothing we want, we can reroll again. No big deal. We are going a little slower now. The game is, uh, the enemies have started to outpace not our damage, but at least the rate at which we have gained damage, thus slowing us down a little bit here. And we do have to be careful, like now would be a really shitty time to die. I don't think we're gonna die. Uh, it would be a huge disappointment if we did die. Oh, give me a reroll opportunity here. It's a great time for it. Oh, okay, well, the card is okay as well. I mean, High Priestess is definitely gonna make a boss fight probably not an issue at all, depending on when we choose to use it. Gotta be very careful about this because we're a little slow and the mushrooms can hurt us. What we can do is kind of kite them around here and then put down a, uh, a butt bomb, which is gonna confuse them but also uh, do some damage to them. It'll, it'll make it easier for me to do some crowd control in the future. You know, if we've got a decent number of bombs, we should try to use them offensively, I feel. We got Stompy, but I don't want to be hit by the mushrooms, so uh, it was very dumb. We know our pills are predominantly bad, but it should be relatively easy for us to get a damage or a health upgrade, considering we just had a health downgrade. Broke even, actually earned a little bit of money on that room there, thanks to Swallowed Penny. So, again, Cursed Rooms, the balance is already tipped in their favor, but it's it's like hearing, you know, it's free ice cream day at Ben and Jerry's, access to all flavors, and there's no lineup. You're like, okay, let's definitely do that. I was already gonna do it, I'm gonna do it again now. And then I'm gonna turn my shirt inside out and go back get another free scoop of ice cream. Yeah, it took three hours of my time to wait in line for it, but I got a free scoop of fucking ice cream. Well worth it. Don't don't run the math on that and tell me that I'm making, or I'm essentially working for the equivalent of like a dollar an hour. Yo, it's free ice cream. Maybe you missed the free in the title. Okay, man, lots of big rooms here, but we haven't seen any of our special rooms, which I actually normally like. Because it means that they're all going to be clustered at the end. Actually, you know what? I think I normally hate that, at least when I have the D6. I don't know myself very well, apparently. When you have the D6, you like to spread it out a little bit. But we have the battery, so we're insulated from those concerns a little bit. That worked out. Still getting fairly low on HP here. Worryingly low would not be an incorrect sentiment, I think. But High Priestess will kill this boss, and it should give us... I mean, we should have a 135% uh, chance of a deal with the Devil if we don't take Red Heart damage. Times 0.5. Why 135%? Well, 100 for not taking Red Heart damage. Uh, and then the extra 35 
Yeah, we'll, we'll take that when we can. Um, the extra 35... We'll take this. Um, the extra 35 for the uh, pentagram, and then times 0.5 because we had to deal with the devil two floors ago. So that's going to give us well, 135 divided by 2. It's like a 67.5% chance of a deal with the devil. That's pretty good. And obviously, I probably don't need to explain to you what I did there, but we decided to uh, get the 9... Where the heck... Did I already go to our shop? Oh, the shop is right down there. I was literally just inside of it. Um, the uh, We picked up the 9 volts to get an extra charge, basically just in time to be able to do this. So really hoping for a sweet... There's options choice here, and then a deal with the devil that we can make good use of our uh, D6 on if necessary. I probably should actually, should have actually like waited and bought another charge just so like, this is a, a not be all end all, but an extremely important room for us here. Our HP is really low. Both of those are not that amazing. Uh, let's see what we got in here first. It's a Krampus fight, which influences me a little bit very dumb. Because what I was thinking is we would go take a deal with the devil and then pick up the stem cells so we didn't like, we could take a too hard deal for the cost of one and still have some HP. But uh, instead we're not going to do that because there's no deal with the devil in here. But we are going to reroll whatever the devil drop is because Lump of Coal doesn't really help us. We rerolled it to Gimpy, which is acceptable. And then the question becomes, do we want to take the HP? And I still think the answer is yes. A kind of a complicated situation, though. You know, with there's options, you don't really want to pick up a stem cells item. That's not that good. But I'm slow, I'm slow! Um, the Gimpy... The Gimpy pickup, I'm of two minds about. It's consistently not that amazing. Like, it, well, let's just put it this way. It's inconsistent. Um, however... There have been situations where, you know, one Spirit Heart can completely change the way that a run looks if it shows up at the right moment. Like, just prior to me taking damage there would have been a good choice. <laughs> I'm starting to see this run uh, fall apart at its own seams a little bit. Please. Okay, full health is fine, telepills is fine. I was gonna take the moon card out of here anyway though. We're probably not doing boss rush, but that full health is uh, is a nice pickup. So now what's our deal with the devil chance? Well, everything's going to be times 1.25 and we've taken red heart damage. Sorry, not times 1.25, times 0.25. So we're going to be looking at, you know, like a 25% chance plus a 35% chance. As long as we don't take red heart damage against the boss that is times 0.25 which is not good. <laughs> it's like a 12 something or, you know, 13% chance. Uh, my math might be wrong, but I was also running for my life there. I was a little frightened. Turns out our secret room was adjacent to that room anyway. To the, the curse room, I should say. So let's go back for High Priestess. Um, boss Rush was not, it's not even in my mind anymore. Okay, free devil items are good. You know what? We don't have a guppy item yet, so I'm gonna reroll this. And I think we can justify Judas's shadow. And I'm actually, because we have Gimpy, I'm actually gonna hurt myself here. The ho this is exactly what we wanted. More spirit heart drops. And with these spirit heart drops, we're hoping to f like fund a Judas's shadow run, basically. We only got one out of it, which kind of sucks. But uh, and you know what? Even fuck the money. I don't really care. But uh, now we're doing a lot more damage. This is, this is good. We, we've had a, a lot of opportunities. I think one of the runs where I had Judas' Shadow recently was unfortunately one of the ones lost due to audio problems, but we've had a lot of opportunities to actually show the value of Judas' Shadow. It's a good, ooh, I should have killed myself there instead, but how could we have known? Uh, it's a good item. Genuinely a good item. Uh, if you find yourself in the right situation to be able to use it. You don't always, you know, that's the situation. If you're on low HP and you can make your Judas a Shadow run like work just by killing yourself basically and then picking up some spirit hearts. Like if you're on 3 HP and then you could kill yourself and buy a spirit heart to become Judas a Shadow with a huge damage multiplier, that's what you should do. Probably. Okay, this poop hit me 3 times. That's half of my lifetime HP. <laughs> I'm displeased. And none of them dropped uh, Gimpy powers either. OK, 
bit. You would expect, though, that we'd be able to get some black cards at some point here. Two High Priestess cards? I'm not going to complain. This has the potential to be a very nice room for us. That could be good. Two of Clubs I'll just use. On Zeus Rune I'll just use. A little disappointed. No arcade, obviously. What am I doing with this Sun card? I wanted to use it like on a rune to deal damage. Now I realize that we don't really need to see where the, you know, what what rooms are going on here because we already have the vision from the Anzus rune. So we could do that, but it's just going to lead to more backtracking in the future anyway. Oh, got lucky and found a crawl space. My favorite way to make that happen. Not a black market. Good. It is a free chest. Hey, man, it could be worse. Like, with Mom's Key, this is... We got two spirit arts out of it. Mom's Key. What can I say? Extremely valuable for us. Might have even saved our run rate there. Okay. This is like Hammerhead at Nuclear Throne now. Just get yourself in a corner and, you know, snipe at the enemies when you get the ability to do so. Keep those masks on the far side of the screen. Don't accidentally walk on the bomb rock. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. This is a good time for a, an amazing item to show up. I'm not gonna lie, we're in a little bit of a dangerous position. The Judas' shadow pickup was glorious and might have, you know, undug ourselves out of a hole that bad pills put us in temporarily. I don't want to take the D4 on this run. You know, last run we re-rolled ourselves a lot. I think I'm, I'm well within my rights to choose to just kind of stick with this one for now. Uh, homing Tears does nothing for us. Those shots that you're seeing are from Ghost Baby. They're not from me. So, um, did I say Homing Tears? Piercing Tears. I will be looking to re-roll it again. And we will have the opportunity to do so. Rather re-roll that than re-roll our shop. And, you know, I'd rather re-roll that than re-roll our item room. because, Or, sorry, our boss room. Because we have theirs options already. And we already know that we've taken our deal with the devil item. So, it's not like we're going to miss out too much there. Per throw rune. Oh, it's fantastic. Even better. So now we have double rerolls to use here. Uh, if we would choose to do so, and I would choose to do so. Guillotine. I'll take guillotine. Honestly, uh, for the extra damage, obviously there's some problems with guillotine. It's a dangerous item. I didn't even see that. That's probably better. Um, there, there are some problems with guillotine. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's, it's also a plus one damage, so... I think that's pretty relevant for our current situation. But I'd rather take Perthro or High Priestess with us. They're both good. I should use High Priestess on the boss probably to get some use out of it. Freaking guillotine making it tough to place bombs because I'm an idiot. Uh, red hearts I can't use. Okay. It's, it's fine. I'm not mad about it. It's a good situation to be in. And actually, I love that there's so many skulls around here. Joshua Jackson, where you at, man? Hope you're doing okay. We should come back for the Ducks playoff run, man. They could really use Charlie Conway. They're not doing badly. You could just always use Charlie Conway. Magician. Not very necessary, but I'm going to use it anyway. Where's our last freaking... Oh, there he is. Oh, you dirty dangler. Finally, we got it done. Definitely not doing boss rush. Easy enough. And our damage is looking good now, man. Our damage is looking good. Ball of bandages, speed plus range. Probably torn photo. Even though I want the spirit arts from Latchkey, the tiers upgrade. I mean, we're firing noticeably faster now. Uh, I think that was the right call, but it was a it was a tough call. And we're heading down to the next floor. A little scared because our HP is still bad. Like I would re oh man, this doesn't help out. I would really love to pick up a relic. I was exasperated because we got Curse of the Blind, which just always, especially when we have so many reroll abilities here, it's a little kick in the pants. But that's okay. You know, it's adversity that allows you to be proud of your run. So let's get ready to be proud of this. I'm already proud of myself for taking Guillotine. An item that oftentimes I previously would have re-rolled. Being like, oh, it's, it makes it hard to dodge. It does. There's no question about that. It makes it hard to dodge. But it's uh, still good. Oh, Gumby's tail. That's with Mom's... Uh, thank God. Gimpy made us break even on that. But um, 
I think the extra damage is worth it in this situation. Plus you get a big ol' orbital of your head, which is functional, but also stylish. And you can see, like, we're doing an awful lot of damage now, which is very nice as well. Let's pop two of spades. Guppy's tail is going to be dropping a lot of golden chests. Synergize as well with Mom's Key. Um, I'm kicking myself a little bit, though, because I rerolled Guppy's uh, hairball. Turned it into Gimpy. Don't really need those bombs. Uh, I could be two-thirds of the way to get into Guppy right now, and that would take a real load off. But it is what it is. Deck of cards. Pays out with the devil. Uh, we have two charges with it we don't want to use, though. Bob's Rotten Head. Uh, you know, I think this is where we're going to use our Perthrow rune. Infestation 2, it's so good. Okay. This is a little more exciting now. And the Infamy pickup is probably the second best golden chest drop. In terms of, well, maybe. I, I'm thinking second to Fate, but I guess if you got Guppy's Head, that could be better as well. Okay, we really, really need to not take damage. It's a huge part of my overall strategy right now. Emperor card is good. Two of clubs is fine. What was our other card that we were rocking back there? Hero font, please. Lovers, okay. I don't know what our other card was back there. Devil, oh, devil card is also pretty good. Emperor is a little bit better, I think. All I want in here is spirit hearts. We got one. We got a seven cent item. Doesn't work with uh, nine volts, which, uh, yeah, we did buy the nine volt. Boomerang. Obviously not particularly amazing for us, but hey, we get an opportunity to donate a bunch of money. Uh, we get an opportunity to donate about four cents there. <laughs> Don't always have that. I hope that this doesn't become a run where we're just a little bit too low on HP. It's looking like it could be that, but I'm trying to fight the fight the notion right now. Let's put a bomb up here. Hopefully, get a second secret room. And you know what? Yeah, this we got some money left over. Why not? At the very least, a good card, good trinket, something along those lines. Eh. Wow. I, I said at the very least, but we got less than that. But I'm assuming the mom fight's gonna be super simple here. Try to do some damage with our head. It worked pretty well, almost as quickly as we beat mom on the last run. No deal with the devil. Obviously, we're taking the Polaroid. And down to the next floor, and I'm gonna do something I don't normally do with the Emperor card. And that, let's just see if there's anything in here. No. Okay, that's, I'm gonna use it on this floor. And it's a bad decision because we only have one reroll now for the boss room or the devil room. But I want to ensure that I can get something but without dying, you know? Oh shit, man. Like, it would be... Please stay open. Okay, it did stay open. So we take this... And then pick up Brimstone? Or do we pick up anything? Maybe we just want to reroll these. Like, my damage is already good. Maybe we don't need Brimstone. And we reroll... Ah! I don't think that's very good either. Is this going to stay open? We'll try like a couple rooms here. It's worth trying to reroll it as long as we don't take any or at least much damage. Well, we got to take some of these pills eventually, you know? Uh, the thing with the brimstone pickup, I shied away because I was going to be on such low HP that I didn't trust myself to survive. It was. Undoubtedly, it was going to help, but the question isn't whether or not it'll help. Like, it'll help damage-wise, but do we need it? Hey, Balls of Steel, huge play there, too. If we'd had this much HP, I probably would have taken it, no question, but... It's not open anymore. It's okay. I think... I, I think we made a right decision. The right decision implies an ideal, you know? I don't know if we've reached that ideal. But I think we already have enough damage, so what, what was I hoping for with the reroll is a good question. I was hoping for something that would give us back hearts while giving us something beneficial. Uh, you know, if they had two guppy items in there and one of them was nine lives. If they had uh, ceremonial robes, the pact, the mark, maybe even the nail or something like that, I might have given it a shot. But, you know, it takes a lot of strength for me to not pick up brimstone, but I do think that it's probably the choice most likely to give us success. If we manage to pick up a lot more HP, then the brimstone pickup, or if it 
re rolled into Brimstone, but it cost the one red heart instead of the three spirit hearts, we would have gone for it. But it didn't. So, you know, there, there's no absolutes in Isaac. There's no, you know, absolutely you should always pick up blank. Even even for items I like a lot, there's no absolutes. So I'm hoping that I end up being vindicated somewhat for that decision. But hey, if you're playing along with the seed at home, I would I would be interested to know how it worked out for you. If you uh, you got this far, if you made that decision, very helpful, dry baby. Thank you. I don't see any tinted rocks. Doesn't mean they don't exist, but I don't see them. So our damage is really strong. HP is quite poor. I got a little too cocky on that one. You know what? We don't need those, so I'm not going to even go for them. Because I don't trust myself to not walk on the spikes. I don't want to talk about that damage. Got a little bit of the... Oh, it happened again. Got a little bit of guillotine uh, dizziness going on here. Let's go check this out. Yeah, okay. I mean, I do want to pick up this stuff, but I don't want to accidentally walk over those rocks that could uh, explode in my face either. Okay, this is good. Spiders are going to help out. Tough to maneuver when I can't see because of the guillotine, but that's okay. Got it. All right, this next floor becomes extremely important, obviously. It, every floor is important for us now. No curse is very nice, but I'd rather take a curse here and no curse on the next floor because Curse of the Blind is a real killer on the chest. Every room that we go to, just hoping for tinted rocks, Spirit hard drops, you know, anything that we can get. Oh, it really helps out. No spirit hearts, that's okay. Maybe I should have gone with Demon's Tail, but I'm under the assumption that Demon Tail, Damon Tail, whatever, it uh, leads to you getting way less heart drops in general. I don't need red heart drops, and even a, a fewer amount of black hearts or demon hearts would be way better for me, but I didn't want it to affect like the Gimpy payout or something like that. Like we take Demon Tail and then Gimpy only pays out like 10% of what it pays out with now, which is already like, you know, one every six times or something like that, based on our somewhat shitty luck stat. I don't love this room, but you know, it, it is a room that we should be able to beat and get some kind of reward out of. There's no way we should be losing against a, a few rats right now. This is what I was hoping for. Look, all, none of those items were awful, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> none of those items are awful, in my opinion, but none of them are good enough. We'll come back to reroll it if we can. Obviously, this means I'll be forgoing that uh, mob trap room. And that's okay. Yeah, there we go. Cricket's head. Haven't had it in a while. It's okay, again, you know, our money situation definitely uh, sorted for us in case we find a mythical shop at this point. I don't even want to split these guys, just like, just don't. <laughs> and, oh, Tinted Rock, okay, all is forgiven. This is worthwhile now. Even if we don't get anything else over here, this is huge. Keep spawning bomb flies because they become bomb ass spiders for me. Not bomb ass spiders, that would be a different thing altogether. Oh, it, you little tease. I didn't think it was going to show up, and then it showed up. That's really going to help out with our uh, spiders as well. Okay, so again, the more the more time goes on, the more excuses we lack for losing this run, which is a great position to be in as long as we win. This is a tough situation there. We made it, though. And we have another reroll pedestal that we don't necessarily need to go back through that envy room for, which is nice as well. As far as I know, they're all pretty much created equal here. We might miss out on rerolling one pass of the chest, but, you know, for Daddy Longlegs, that might actually be worth it here. We're only five rooms away, so it's not that much. Don't walk on that. It's only hematemesis, but if we get a, uh... If we get an HP upgrade on the chest, it could be worth it. Well, I didn't really need to blow up that Tinted Rock, apparently. And we got another Spirit Heart out of it right there. Good payouts on this floor. It's really, really helped out. Gonna be a couple rooms shy of an immediate reroll, but... Again, Daddy Long Legs, I think, makes that very worthwhile. Bob's rotten head again. Remember the days where you could pick up an item and take it out of the reroll pool forever? Why do, why do I mention that? Oh, no reason. 
Thank you, Infamy. Apparently, I got hit there, and Infamy saved me. Again, I'm still so used to using the the head as like my method for what or my my placeholder for what's gonna hit me that I'm not always uh, innocent when I take damage with guillotine. But man, that was a nice damage right there. Let's head down to the next floor. Only one room away from being able to use a reroll. What do I want here? Damage and survivability. Way for pickup wins us the game. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right, miter is a no-brainer. Book of Secrets we use once. Oh, it, it told us that there's a chest in this room, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, it looks like our boss is over here, so I guess we got the compass. O out of Book of Secrets there, which is good. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't really like Taurus. Undefined can be really fun. Uh, I'll tell you what, okay, let's take Undefined. That means I won't be taking Unicorn Stump, but it means I will be taking Taurus because I want to take all the passive items I can get right here. So why am I using Undefined instead of the D6? Because it, uh, oh man, our speed's going to be so bad now. Uh, it allows us... Uh, we'll take pheromones here. It allows us to uh, possibly get to do the chest multiple times. And with technology, you always want to get as OP as possible. Just for shits and giggles. Maggie's bow, pretty good. Kind of an indirect wafer. Not really. It doesn't have our damage. It just makes it so we get more red hearts in the future. Or red hearts are worth more. We're very close to our boss fight, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'll use Undefined as it becomes available, but if we, you know, beat our boss... I was going to say, <laughs> you're going to have to die at some point. If we beat our boss and we still have not used it, or we haven't gotten to an error room, so be it. We'll just we'll end the run there. Looping with it is kind of fun, but you know, cooler heads have to prevail sometimes as well, but there you go. You get your dream come true here. Um, Pact is great. Cricket's head or Cricket's body doesn't really help us, but the tears upgrade is okay, of course. And we get another crack at the chest, which is the real draw here. Let's not spoil it for ourselves. Distant admiration is good. Scapular is good. Relic is great. Chocolate milk might not do anything with technology. We're pretty much firing continuously now. Oh man, like this damage is real good. Yeah. Okay, this is great. Celtic Cross? Sure, why not? Still very slow. This is this is an insanely overpowered run now. Oh, look at how fast we're killing the gate here. Normally a fairly difficult enemy. We can't be stopped here. But this means that I just have even more impetus to try to like, you know, loop as many times as possible because it's just gonna lead to more hilarious runs. Yeah, an, or more, a more hilarious run. The all stats upgrade there is great. And we should have a decent number of chest drops because of Guppy's tail, at least I'm assuming. So many spirit hearts as well. Maybe our luck stat went up so high that Gimpy's actually paying out consistently. Semi-consistently. Uh, poison touch? Mr. Boom. Not good. Not a good item. But... No, okay. Just red hearts. That's alright. This is like our perfect enemy to be fighting here. Teratoma and Fistula are going to give us so many spiders that we're going to be able to use to great effect here. We can just kind of paint the landscape here and every pass will remove like another phase. Still so slow. Little chubby. It's okay. Not a huge part of our plans for world domination here, but acceptable nonetheless. This is why I'm so happy I took technology. It so often works out like this, where you just get a hilarious run. And a lot of that, you know, credit goes to Undefined, but technology means we're not just shooting, you know, stupid tears right now. Bucket of lard. Bucket of lard is good. Bucket of rain. Bucket of lard. Got all these buckets coming out of my nards. Buckets of moonbeams in my head. Yeah, that was the worst spot building impression of all time. You got me. The only Bob Dylan impression I can do is when I'm doing Charlie from It's Always Sunny singing The Nightman Cometh, you know? Nightman! Sneaky and mean! Spider inside my dreams, I think I love you. You make me wanna cry, you make me wanna die. I love you, 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 Nightman. It's still not very good. I think we're gonna reach the end here, so our next uh, undefined better 
solve this conundrum for us one way or the other. The more items we get, the better, though. Well, we'll use it once after we fight the boss, and then that'll be that. Or it won't be that. We'll finally be able to see how much damage we do against a, a real enemy, though. And the answer is, like, a lot. Like, a lot of damage. And there's Undefined, because, of course, it's always Undefined. Or, not Undefined. Sorry, Error Room. So we'll do it again. We'll loop again, man. It's fun when it happens. I can't deny it. Let's get even more powerful. That's, you know, eh, not, not huge helps right off the bat here, but that's okay. Let's take our crystal ball and we'll use that and see just where the heck we're going here. I'm going to be a scumbag and kind of mainline the boss fight, but if the game truly wants us to have an incredible run, it will give us undefined. Or give us the error room as soon as possible. I truly believe that. Check out our secret room as well. You never know. I don't want to give keys to a key beggar, but, you know, sometimes there's items. Well, yeah, fuck that one up a little bit, but there's enough spirit arts that I don't feel too bad about it. Okie dokie. I can't believe there was, like, ten minutes ago, this was a run where I was like, man, we might be, like, not in a great position on this run. All of a sudden, you know, a couple of error rooms and we're unassailable. Oh, that's not going to do it. I think this is going to be the end. You might get a couple batteries or something. Is that Yum Heart? I don't want no stinking Yum Heart. And I'll even fight the haunts in here, but we're not going to get a full charge. No nuns have it backing us up on that. Sharp plug ruined by the battery. How'd you hit me there just by swelling up a little larger in size? Where's the where's the fairness in that? There is none. I'll spoil it for you. All right. Well, we know that this is gonna be a win for sure. We might as well just get in there with guillotine and go buck wild. That's really really good. What a powerful run at the end there. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.